Hi, I'm Tyler here with the Adirondack Mountain Club, and I'm bringing you a know before you go tip about backcountry hydration and nutrition to help you have a safe and low impact experience in the Adirondack Park. Just as a rustic cabin in the woods requires a steady stream of fuel logs in the wood stove to remain warm, your body requires a steady stream of proteins, complex carbohydrates, vitamins, and electrolytes throughout the duration of a hike. Staying both well-fed and hydrated are two essential components of every outdoor adventure. So how much should you bring? It is generally recommended that outdoor recreators bring 2,500 to 4,000 calories of food with them for an all-day adventure. Why that range? There are a lot of factors that influence how much you need to eat, including your own metabolism. The longer the trip, the more challenging that hike, the more extreme the weather conditions, the harder your body is going to work. As you plan your trip, take note of these factors and adjust accordingly. You're going to need a lot more food on a sub-zero winter snowshoe than a mild spring hike. It never hurts to pack a little bit extra just in case your trip takes longer than expected or if you get hungrier than usual. To stay hydrated, I like to carry two liters of water and utilize either my mechanical water filters or a chemical treatment to augment my water supply along the way. One liter of water weighs two pounds, so sometimes it's more practical to treat water along the way rather than carry a heavy load. Boiling water with a camp stove is another effective method for sanitizing water. No matter what, do not drink water from the backcountry without treating it first. There are all sorts of diseases that could be in there, including E. coli and Giardia. As an added tip, I like to plan my trips to include short micro breaks, which gives myself and everyone in my group an opportunity to refuel and rehydrate. This is also a great way to take in the scenery along the way. By staying well fed and hydrated, we're well on our way to having a safe and enjoyable outdoor experience. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos about safe and responsible recreation in the Adirondack Park and other wild places. Follow the links below to learn more about ADK, become a member, donate, and more.